What is the change equation, also known as the change formula, as proposed by Beckhardt and Harris in 1987? Well, this is a tool that presents the possibilities and conditions to effectuate change in an organization. And generally what it says is dissatisfaction times vision times uh, first steps or what it takes to initiate the change process must be greater than the resistance to change in order to effectuate change. Otherwise, the resistance to change will dominate and the effectuation of change will not be successful. Now, why is this important? Well, it generally identifies the important factors, the extent to which dissatisfaction exists to the current state of affairs, how things are going. If dissatisfaction is very low, there's going to be a higher resistance to change. Vision. If there's no identifiable vision for where the company wants to go or what's going to result from the change, once again, Again, you have a scenario where individuals are going to be highly resistant rather than to step into the unknown where no clear vision is presented. And then if it is very difficult to effectuate the change, there are many barriers in place or many things that have to be disrupted in order to do so. Again, you're going to have a higher level of resistance. Now, if any of these are zero, just like in any equation, then the resistance to change is going to be greater than it. So you have to have some degree of each of these presence in order for change to be effectively effectuated within the organization.